Hello, and welcome back to another edition of the Medique Wall Plugin. My name is Nathaniel P. Wilkerson, and today I just wanted to do a really quick tutorial on modifying uh, openings and walls. I've been requested to do this video. I think we've covered some of this topic before, but uh, I don't know that we specifically have really gotten into this. So first of all, I'm just going to go ahead and throw up a wall, put down a little grid here first, um, <clears throat> get a wall going, just a regular rectangular wall. I think what I'll do is I'll bump it up to um, like a 10 foot wall or, or thereabouts, just so we have a little height that we're dealing with here. And let's go ahead and just drop a regular framed wall in there. Okay, so to create uh, openings and walls, really you have three basic openings. You have windows, doors, well, man doors specifically, and garage doors. So let's go ahead and just put a window in here. And then let's go ahead and drop a door in. And let's go ahead and drop a garage door in. Just so we have something to work with. Okay, <clears throat> so there we go. So really that's, um, again, the three uh, different wall openings you typically encounter in a building. Um, you know, there are other possibilities. You can have beam pockets where it cuts a chunk out of the wall for beams. You also can use the subtract feature, which will allow you to cut custom holes in the walls. But when it comes just to typical wall openings, um, yeah, these three, uh, the window, door, and garage are what you're normally going to be dealing with. Okay, let's put that back. So we've got this other toolbar here. I'm sure you're most of you are familiar with the Medik Wall Tools toolbar. <coughs> so this toolbar, unlike the other one, which is more for creating uh, geometry, this is for modifying geometry. And the first four icons, left icons in this toolbar, are basically the ones where you're dealing specifically with openings. So let's just go ahead and use the open close uh, thing first here. Uh, and actually, before I do that, I'm going to use the modify, which is this edit opening tool, with the little green arrow down. So you can then mouse over and modify any of these. And let's go ahead and change this window type to something we can actually open, because right now it's just a fixed window or picture window. Um, we want to get something that we can actually open and close. So we just go down here, and um, I don't know, we can probably use any, any type of window. <clears throat> Let's just go single hung for now. That'll work. Okay. So again, uh, with the edit or actually any of these tools, uh, once you click the tool, you're going to see as you mouse over each one of these, it highlights it. So it's selecting that uh, opening door, window, what have you. And then if you know, like with this open close tool, you just simply click it. And if you want to close it, you click it again. Same thing with, with man doors and with the windows, same thing. Uh, one thing to note is if I open up all these doors and then I uh, regen this wall, notice they all close again because that is kind of the default um, uh, setting or uh, state of the, of the wall is having all of them closed. So anyways, that's one thing just to be aware of, but yeah, you can <clears throat> open and close any of these at, at your uh, command, and and then if you know if if you want, you can close them, or you can just regen the wall, and you will close them right back up. Okay, so that's the open close tool. Now let's talk about the edit tool. Edit tool, very same thing. Click the one with the green arrow, mouse over what you want to edit. Um, go in here, look in your menu. You've got lots of options, probably too many options in many, many cases. Um, Hit update, and now you've got yourself a half glass door. Let's try that here with the garage door real quick, just to demonstrate. <clears throat> uh, raise panels. Maybe we're going to do flat panels. And there we have it. Okay, so that's basically edit. Right, okay, so let's go ahead and now try the move tool. So the move tool is pretty much the same thing. You mouse over it. Click it, and now you're going to notice in the front on the exterior of the wall, not on the interior, but only on the exterior, you're going to notice this little blue arrow that slides this way and that way, okay? So basically from the center line of the door or the window, um, just go, and that and that's why I like these, this grid uh, tool. Uh, you can either use the one that you can get from the extension warehouse, or you can use the one in the project plugin, but it allows you, you know, to, 
to go in incremental amounts, right? So I want to shift that over three three feet. You can do that. Um, <clears throat> same thing with this door, maybe. Let's go over two feet. Right, and that's it. And again, um, when you do that, you're essentially rebuilding the entire, um, regenerating the entire wall panel and recalculate all the framing, et cetera, et cetera. Okay, so that's basically it for the wall move tool or move opening tool. Now, the final one is just simply the delete opening. So same thing again, just click the tool, mouse over the thing you want to delete, and bingo, it's gone. And again, it rebuilds and regens the wall. Let's uh, turn off our gypsum just so we can see what's going on with all that framing. And maybe we'll turn off the insulation too. Right. <clears throat> okay. Final piece that I just wanted to show about editing openings is now with Windows, just slightly different. I don't really have an interactive way of um, modifying the height within the wall of the window. Um, like there's not a tool where you click on it and then you push the wall or the window up or down. I may give that some consideration in the future, but for now, all you do is just go edit and, and then you can go right here into the menu and you'll notice here that you have what's called the header height. Well, you have the window width and height that sets the actual overall window height and width. But if you want to adjust the header height, which is the height within the wall, then you would go right here. So let's say we want to go eight feet. And there you go. And you can shift that up and down, however, wherever you want. Typically, you know, that I think that header height usually stays pretty much the same. And that's why I don't think it's a, as, you know, as big of a deal that there's not an interactive tool for that. But again, that may be something I consider in the future. All right. Uh, I think that pretty much covers it. I just wanted to basically uh, go over, you know, quickly what the modify opening tools are. And I think, um, yeah, I think that covers it. All right. Well, thank you so much. And again, if you have any questions, feel free to email me or give me a phone call. And I appreciate you guys' support. Thank you. Bye.